Human beings who live on one third of the planet fancy themselves as masters of the universe. There are so many animals that have figured out how to live in that other two thirds, but they interact in such a fabulously intricate way that you recognize that our approach to mastering the universe is, is so amateurish compared to what it is like to develop the ability to interact with your own world in such a way that you don't destroy it. Studying the vampire squid, I think, will enable people to learn of the enormous diversity and adaptability of animal life. This is an animal that even though it can do these extraordinary things, it is alive. And so you look at it and you say, this is amazing. But once I began to do the research and realized that it was one of the most phenomenal creatures on earth, and very few people knew about it, I thought, this is a great subject for a book. I am always so astonished at what I learn about these creatures. What I want people to come away with is being able to say, wow, I didn't know that. But because I am astonished quite often by what I find out, uh, I want people to see that. I want people to, to become as amazed and impressed as I have been. So I'm trying to communicate the, the astonishing reality of natural history.